Okay, we wanna find the point where two lines intersect. So we're given two functions, f of x equals five x minus six and g of x equals two x minus three. So what we wanna do in this case is really just set these two equal to each other. We wanna know when is five x minus six gonna equal two x minus three. Now what we have is a linear equation. Uh, for linear equations, we wanna get all the variables on one side. I'm gonna go ahead and put them all on the left-hand side. We can do that by subtracting two x from both sides. So combining like terms, we have five x's minus two x's leaves us with three x's. Bring down that minus six. Two x minus two x's makes zero x's on the right-hand side. Bring down the minus three. Next, we have all the variables on one side. Let's get all the constants to the other. So I'm gonna add six to move it to the other side. So bring down that three X, negative six plus six makes zero. And then on the right-hand side, combining like terms, we have negative three plus six makes positive three. To finish this up, we, we wanna get X all by itself. So we need to get rid of that three out in front. Well, right now that's connected with multiplication. So what we wanna do is use division on both sides to counteract that. So three over three makes a one X. And then over on the right-hand side, three over three also makes one. So in this case, these are gonna intersect at an X value of one, but we don't need an entire point or ordered pair here. To get that ordered pair or point, what we wanna do is substitute back in. We have our X value, but we need to plug it into either one of those original functions. So it's gonna go in for X. If I used F of X, you could say f of one is gonna be five minus six makes negative one. Or if we'd use g of x plugged in one there, we're gonna get two times one minus three. G of one is gonna be two minus three, which also makes negative one, which should make sense. So we had an x value of one and that y value of negative one is what was output. All right, you don't have to plug into both functions, but if you wanted to double check your answer, you certainly could. So that's our point of intersection, one, negative one. Hope this helps. Good luck.